Delicious Taka. Hi guys, I'm Eunice and I'm Iman. Yay! So today is a little bit extra special because Iman is here with us. Yes. We're going to be doing our eighth Just Taka with Iman. I know. I know. We're super so happy to have you here. How do you feel? I'm really excited to be here. I'm so glad. Like I really love being on Wish Trends. So. Yeah, I mean, we saw a lot of comments and there were a lot of suggestions and they wanted to see you on Wish Trends TV. Thanks, so we're man. so happy that you're joining us. I'm so excited to be here. Now that it is summer, it's getting really, really hot and our skin can also get damaged easily. Acne starts to pop up everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Yes. Everywhere. And also, freckles tend to form because of the UV exposure and other pigmentations to the skin. So what are the solutions to reduce this type of skin conditions during this weather? So the items we're going to introduce today will not only help prevent freckles, but also other skin problems for only... <gasps> Drum roll. Only... <laughs> $20. $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? $20? The cause of freckles are largely divided into two categories. Mm -hmm. One is genetics, which we can't do anything about, we can. and the other <laughs> is UV exposure. So freckles form due to UV exposure, and this is with an increase in melanin, and it causes pigmentation to the skin. How do we prevent freckles? Well, mm -hmm. this comes down to UV protection. Right. So the ways we can recommend preventing freckles is to stay indoors between the hours of 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. if possible. If possible? If, uh, impossible. Impossible. <laughs> But also, definitely using things like parasol and with wide brim hats. Or sunglasses. Yes. Yes, and much more. And much more. So in particular, the proper use of UV protection can prevent skin wrinkles, freckles, and other imperfections. The product that will help you prevent skin imperfections and freckles for under $20 is... $20. $20. Just Claire Sun Lotion. Yay! So we're going to answer your frequently asked questions about sunscreen and we're also going to give you some helpful tips, so please stay tuned. Okay, now we're going to be introducing you to the products and the benefits, which, you know, the discount, that's yes. the most important. <laughs> but anyways, so now, Claire's Sun Lotion is, number one, it's very helpful in shielding against the UVA rays, UVB rays, yes. and even the heat. Mm -hmm. Number two, it's gentle and mild enough for all skin types to use, plus even sensitive skin types. It's formulated with guajuline, and I feel like Makes me guajuline, dance. <laughs> you have to <laughs> dance to it. <laughs> and thanks to that ingredient, it's really, really soothing to the skin, and also it soothes skin that has been irritated by the UVA rays and even both UVB rays as well. Number three, it's low in oil. It's non-shiny, non-oily, and it's really light and fresh. I like the feathery fresh, personally. Okay. And yeah, how was it for you? Mm. I really like it because I'm really oily, you mm -hmm. probably can tell, so that was a definitely a selling point for me. Mm. And I really like the texture itself after it's been renewed. It's really hydrating and easy to apply. Number four, it gives you a natural tone-up. And I love it as a makeup base or makeup primer yes. too. It's really perfect as a makeup base because it helps your makeup to last a longer time mm -hmm. and it really evens out your skin tone. All right, so let us introduce you to the special benefits. Yes. Okay, if you purchase one, you get it for $20. $20. $20. If you get it for two, then you get 10% discount. And if you get three, then you get a 15% off discount. If you get five, then you get 25% discount plus global free shipping. Nice. Yeah, and a lot of people ask us like, can you bring back the toner for Just Talk Up? Or can you, it, it doesn't come back for a while, guys. So make sure to get it in this limited time, okay? Mm -hmm. Just Talk Up. Just Talk Up. <laughs> So, what factors of a sunscreen is the most important to you, especially? What about you? For me? me personally? Ooh, I would say like the SPF. Mm, SPF. SPF. For me, I think anything that has the SPF and mm. that doesn't give me breakouts yes. <laughs> is really important. Yeah. But yes, a lot of our wish trenders have asked us questions and mm -hmm. recommendations for sun lotion. So, we've gathered the most frequently asked questions today and we're going to answer for you guys. So the first question is, what SPF should I look for in an everyday sunscreen? Mm. 
So just because the SPF on a sunscreen is really high doesn't mean that it's giving you extra protection. It's more that you reapply during the day about every two to three hours. And also an SPF of 30 PA++ is the ideal SPF you would like to look for for like everyday activities. Daily, daily like sun lotion, right? Yeah. Mm. So while it is important to protect against UVA and UVB rays, it's also important to protect against the heat because the sun can produce heat that also damages your skin. So you wanna protect against that as well. So the Claire's a Sun Lotion also not only protects against both UVA and UVB rays, but it also brings the skin's temperature back to its prime state. Okay, so the second question is, what kind of sunscreen should people with sensitive skin use? I know because I have sensitive skin, okay? <laughs> <laughs> to answer this question, I want to make certain things clear, but there are two different types of uh, sun lotions. There are the physical sunscreens and there are the chemical sunscreens. First, the chemical sunscreen. A sun protectant that utilizes chemical components that are absorbed into the skin. Actually, they react to the UV rays by absorbing them into the skin. The good thing is there's no white cast, however, it can cause irritation for your skin. So now moving on to physical sunscreens. Physical sunscreens actually uh, make a protective barrier on top of your skin to actually reflect the light off of you. So that's why it's called physical sunscreen. Mm -hmm. So they physically, physical. you know, you know <laughs> reflect that off of your skin. And the bad thing is we can say that it does leave a white cast. And clear sunscreen actually have taken out the best parts of chemical sunscreen and both um, physical sunscreen, mm -hmm. making it okay for even all skin types plus even sensitive skin types to use. To be honest, there's a slight white cast, yes. yeah, but it doesn't clog pores or it doesn't clump up. So mm -hmm. it really helps to give you like a very slight tone up yes. and also it evens out your skin tone. And one thing that I wanted to mention is we think maybe higher the SPF, it's better mm -hmm. and it's good, you know? Yeah. But to be honest, um, sunscreen itself, the ingredients that are in a sunblock is not really good for our skin. Mm -hmm. The higher the SPF, actually it can be more harsh for our skin. Mm -hmm. Clear sunscreen is made with the lowest SPF that is necessary, that is needed for daily activities outdoors. So for everyday use, it's perfectly fine. But if you're gonna go out to the beach or if you're gonna you know, go surfing and stuff yeah. like that, maybe we do suggest that you use something a little bit more higher. Clear sunscreen is SPF 40 and PA++, which makes it just perfect for all skin types and even sensitive skin types to be able to use it as a daily sunscreen. The main ingredient, once again, guazuline. <laughs> I, feel, I really want you guys to I do know. it with us, you know? But yes. Every time I hear it, I just don't like Yeah, I really like guazuline. I hope you're doing it with us. But the main ingredient in this sunscreen, guazuline, it's really helpful to soothe inflammation on damaged skin. Okay, so the best part of Just Stock Up is we have this little cute camera and we always tell you and show you right off the bat together. I'm just gonna dab in a little tiny, tinsy bit. I wanted to show you the texture. Mm -hmm. Like that. And I'm gonna blend it in. It's really gentle. And it's almost like a moisturizer more than um, those typical sunblocks out there. And I wanted to show you the finish. It's really feathery and non sticky. So, yeah. All right, so the third one says, I hate sunscreens that are oily or sticky and uncomfortable. Is there a sunscreen that is light and fresh without leaving a dry feeling to my face? All right, so I think everybody finds this as like the important factor mm -hmm. when you look for a sunscreen. Definitely. Especially in the summertime, yes. you don't want like a sunscreen that sticks onto your face or you know, you don't want something that's oily or you don't want anything that's sticky. And like you've just seen when I showed you the texture, Clear Sun Lotion really has a very, how should I say, creamy and soft texture mm -hmm. so that it's really easy to apply on your face and it leaves your skin without any stickiness and oiliness. It has actually a very soft and feathery finish. Okay, so now let's test for the oiliness and stickiness of the Sun Lotion. Alrighty, 
The texture. Yes. Very nice. So you are gonna get a tone up, but yeah. you just have to make sure you blend it in really well. Mm, and get it in there. Yes. Very good. So as you can see. Okay. There it is. We're gonna be checking, like I mentioned, for the oiliness and stickiness test. Okay. Alright, let's check. Did it pass the test? Yes, I think so. Okay, so we're gonna do the stickiness test now, and then we have the styrofoam here for you. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go ahead and flip it on top, okay? Okay. okay. All right. Ah, it's snowing. <laughs> Let me get a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Get it all in there, mm -hmm. and then. And question number four asks, mm. I'm too lazy to apply sunscreen and apply makeup base or primer on top. I feel you. <laughs> Is there any way to do it all at once? So the main reason we use a base or a primer is to just help make the application a lot smoother and the lasting effect of our foundation mm -hmm. and also just to even out the tone of our skin. Now the great thing with the Claire sunscreen is that it does all of these things mm -hmm. so it can be used as your base or primer. So that's why we've prepared the following video and Eunice herself tested it out so she's going to show you the steps and everything so cue the video. So guys, I am here today to test out if it's going to last a long time for a sun lotion. And I'm going to put all my makeup on top of it and I'm going to be testing out throughout the day, okay? So I just wanted to show you. I just put the sunblock on right now, sun lotion on. And then I'm going to put it on top. I'm just going to put my BB cream on. Okey So right now I'm going to show you um, of me putting it on. And then throughout the day, I will show you a little bit later on how long it's really lasting on my skin, how well the sun lotion is acting as a primer to help my makeup last a longer time. Okie dokie! Alrighty, so I'll see you! Okay guys, so this is Eunice and I just wanted to show you how my makeup is still on. It's helping, the sun lotion is really helping to make my makeup last a long time. So question number five mm. asks, I have a deep skin tone. Can I use a sunscreen with tone brightening properties? I feel you. So the answer mm. to this question is yes. So although it does leave a slight white cast, mm. if you apply it, then the finish is really natural in the sense that it doesn't clog up your pores and it's not clumpy. So in that sense, you're good. So if you have a dark skin tone like myself, mm. using it as a makeup base, even if it has a white cast, once you put your makeup on top, which mm. is what I do, you're going to get the UV protection benefit and you're going to have a base. So it all comes together and you don't have to have another primer or whatnot. It's done. So next, I'm going to show you the before and after while using the Claire Sun Lotion. And next, I'm going to show you the how-to with the Claire's Sun Lotion. So first, I'm going to show you the proper way to use UV protection. At the last step of your skincare routine, apply a generous amount to the face, behind the ears, and neck. As it is a hybrid formula, both physical and chemical, apply at least 15 minutes before going outside. So you'd want to reapply the um, Claire Sun Lotion every two to three hours. Mm. And you may be curious, how do you put this on top of makeup, right? Well, continue watching and we'll show you. First, you need to use an oil blotting sheet to remove oil from the face. 
Mix your foundation and sunscreen in a 2 to 1 ratio. And use a slightly damp sponge to reapply to areas in need or on the forehead, cheekbones, nose, and other areas that protrude from the face. And if your makeup is smeared or needs touching up, mm. definitely prepare like a travel-friendly mist. Yeah. Yes, along with a little Ziploc bag that has everything you need to um, touch up your makeup. It has a sponge as well as cotton swabs. Show us, show us. Sponge mm -hmm. as well as handy dandy cotton swabs. Mm -hmm. And then I also have cotton pads. Start by spraying the whole face with mist. If your base makeup starts to cake or a large part of the face needs touching up, Wiping away the area using a sponge with sunscreen erases the area well and prepares the skin for reapplication by leaving a hydrating finish. If makeup on small areas like your eyes or lips becomes smeared, wiping the area using a cotton swab with sunscreen erases it naturally. Afterwards, use a sponge to apply the foundation and sunscreen mixture we shared above. And number three, I'm going to show you how to use the Claire's Sun Lotion as a makeup base with a puff. Apply an adequate amount of sunscreen to the face and use a puff to spread evenly on the face using a tapping motion. Doing so will naturally brighten the skin tone and even out an uneven skin texture just as a makeup base does. Applying sunscreen with a sponge makes your foundation or BB cream apply better and gives a smooth, silky finish to your makeup. On top of that, it also increases lasting power of your makeup as compared to when you use other sunscreens. Okay, so let us introduce you to the benefits one more time, yes. okay? Because it's very time. important. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so if you purchase one sun lotion, then you get it for $20, $20. no discounts. $20. $20. For <laughs> two sun lotions, you get 10% discount. And for three, you get 15% off discount. For five, you get 25% discount plus global free shipping. Mm -hmm. All right, so don't forget to get it while you can get the discounts in this limited time that it's offered. Just stock up, guys. Just, Just stock, stock up. up. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm here to read a review that we got for the Claire Sun Lotion. So for me, finding a sunscreen that doesn't break me out is my biggest issue, and usually it is next to impossible. I feel you. I can wear the Claire's Midday Blue Sun Lotion for over 8 hours under my makeup and not develop any new breakouts or irritation. Not only that, it works great as a day cream for the summer and works as an amazing primer for makeup. Highly recommend it. I only use hydrating sunscreens, so when I first started using this sunscreen and it wasn't as hydrating as I thought, I didn't really expect much from it. But when I applied the Claire's BB cream, like I usually do on top of it, I was so surprised because my skin tone became more evened out and my pores and spots got covered for a flawless look and my makeup stayed for the whole day. On top of that, whenever I leave the house, my face would get red and splotchy because of the hot sun, but I love this sunscreen because it not only blocks UV rays, but also shields my face from the heat of the sun. I agree. This is going to become your holy grail sunscreen if you have sensitive and dull skin. Also, please try it with the Claire's BB Cream. I highly recommend it. And the third review reads, Before purchasing the sunblock, I used the COSRX one during winter since it's more moisturizing, and now it's already summer. I want something light, hydrating, and far for breakout. I'm so happy to try on Claire's Midday Blue Sun Lotion. It's perfect for summer. No more oily face and breakouts during this hot summer. And the fourth review reads, I've been using this sunscreen every day for a few months now and it's great. Compared to other sunscreens I've used in the past, this one is very lightweight and provides great protection from the sun. It's not greasy at all, but rather creamy. It can, however, leave a white cast if you don't work it in well enough. All in all, a very good sun lotion for day-to-day -day use. And the fifth review reads, since I got this sunscreen, it's the only one that I use right now. It's calming and cooling and it doesn't break me out at all. It's really mild despite the fact that it has a high SPF and it's not greasy at all. 
which is pretty cool for people with oily skin. I agree with that. So those were the reviews for the Claire Sun Lotion. Okay, so thank you guys so much for joining us and it was very special because Iman joined us today. Thank you, thank you for having me. It was so much fun, I'm glad. Yeah, mm -hmm. please join us next time too. For sure. Uh, okay, <laughs> and like we've mentioned guys, the time, the event is very limited, mm -hmm. so get the discounts now. Just stock up on the sunscreen that I think everybody needs to get their hands on. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and we shall see you next time. Yes, okay. for sure. Bye! Bye guys!